let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Cormier is nine years the elder. He weighed in at 205 pounds. The reach is the same. And now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Colby Chaos Covington. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Daniel DC Cormier. Of all times, a nice clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, about your corners, come out for you. Ready? Right, you ready? Let's go, guys. Here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Left hand punch from the clinch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, and nicely done as he gets the double leg takedown. Just over three minutes to go now. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. Yep, there absolutely. Go. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now, what? Nicely done. Who's on it? Two minutes now to go in the opening round. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by DC. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, it's a good ground and pound by him here.
here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock, and if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so for one fighter, the round mercifully comes to an end as we look back at some of the action. What a display of ground and pound. It's his calling card. It's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a brutal ground and pound fighter, and he showed you just then why he's known as that in the MMA sphere. He's the guy that if he gets you down, he will dominate you with positioning and brutal, nasty ground and pound. Big punch land. Big punch from the clinch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him. This final submission. Now he's going to try to attack Kimura here. And now he falls back into the finishing position. to force his opponent to tap, and he wins the fight. It's over! It's over! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that is an outstanding submission win turned in by that fighter here tonight. And not just the finishing instincts, but just the transitions and how patient he was to make sure that he had not just isolated the arm, but secured it before he tried to torque it. Near perfection in terms of the execution of that arm ball. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 22 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar and still. baddest man on the planet and now with another highlight for the real the heavyweight champion submits the number one contender here tonight and now celebrates with his corner after just a monumental performance here tonight i'm not sure we've ever seen him perform more cleanly or more efficiently